I don't know what you heard about me, but bitch you can't get a dollar out of me. No Cadillac, no perms you can't see. Then I'm a motherfucking T-O-A-D. What a joke. <laughs> What's up, homies? It's your boy, Iceman. So some fucked up shit happened last night. And it hurt my fucking feelings. I broke my back. Man, I didn't know this shit, but I was running a game with a bunch of fat, slimy toads, right? One of those tier four map games, those co-op games and shit. This is hardcore. I, so folks is worried and shit. But yeah, uh, we was running, man, and there were three assassins. One of them was my boy Conway. Nonetheless, I mean, there was like a 98 Sork there. There was all sorts of cray cray shit. And there was like, wait, 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 who's running Mind Barrier? I was like, huh? I didn't say nothing, right? I wasn't going to say nothing. But one assassin said, not me. Before Conway could even say anything, I just straight up said it. I was like, oh. I was like, I got it, man. They are like, oh, can you leave, please? And I said, are they like, that's going to fuck up shit, man. That's why a couple people have already been booted and had to return back to this game. So I says, okay, maybe I'll leave. And then somebody says, no, not maybe. What do you mean by that? You broke back is broken. What, a, a vertebrae or, or well, what portion? Spinal. And dog, that hurt my fucking feelings. And you know what? If you want to come by, dog, <laughs> we can run this fucking shit. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, man. I, I mean, that just fucking hurt my feelings. You know what I'm saying? Stop it. Get some help. I mean, they didn't want to play with me. You know, they were scared that somebody else was going to get booted and fucked up shit was going to happen. That's the problem with hardcore, apparently, is this mind barrier. It causes something, man, where it makes the game, like, uh, lag and shit or something. And I saw it happen. A barbarian got booted twice in a row. It was fucked up. I didn't know what the reason was. I just assumed his internet sucked. But after maybe the third, uh, <laughs> the third time, yeah, somebody, uh, was curious who had Mind Barrier. But here's the problem, I like Mind Barrier because I solo a lot, you know, and I just put one point into it, but it's told. Another problem is it's a prerequisite if you want to have Cloak of Shadows and if you want to have Shadow Master. So, I like using that shit. I know a lot of pro assassins don't use that. They don't put any points in this shit. But sometimes I just like to fuck around, man. And for solo, it's kind of nice having a couple points in the Shadow Master. She works as a decent tank. And Cloak of Shadows is towed. I'll cast that shit. And it blinds Day's ass. See, watch this. See? So when you're fighting Val, you can cast that. Ooh, look at that. Look at the lower res that's been casted on the enemies. Yeah, I'll show you where that's from. Some of you, I'm sure, have already seen it. Or you knew that I had the weapon just because of the aura around her feet. Many of you, most likely, have realized that. But yeah, she's wearing full nat set now, which is very nice. I put an ort room in her nat helm and I socketed it myself. It was a CNC. A nice amulet from Conway, thank you, sir. Raven Frost. Some nice res on this coated string. String of ears. Yeah. Nat armor, and I traded for this thing, and already had two shells and a melee splash, but I'm okay with that. Her hit recovery is pretty high. But I gotta check the breakpoints. It's probably worthless kind of where it's at. It's probably in some middle ground or some shit. I think 80, it's like 89, maybe less than 89, 87. I don't know what the breakpoint is, but I want to hit that. So I'll probably get some charms with uh, hit recovery. Then we're in this shit, but check this out. I traded my Chaos Claw for this. And I know why the guy did it. He came to the game and he showed me this. I said, bring plague. So he joined the game and he had the plague. And I was like, I don't know what the fuck I'm going to offer for this thing. I just want to see if I get lucky, which is why I did it. You know, sometimes I'll make games and I'll just, you know, it's, it's worth trying. Holy shit. Look at this. Are you kidding me, dude? Holy fuck. It's been ages since I found a room, man. 
I haven't even found a high rune this ladder in Hardcore. The greatest rune I found was a gull rune in the pit with my druid. Holy shit. That's told. So, yeah, what I'm going to do with that sir is I'm going to trade it for a torch. Right? But yeah, to finish the story, man, long story short, he joins the game with Plague. I don't have shit. I'm like, well, you take a goal for it. That's the best I had. He was like, no, I was hoping higher than that, at least a Vex and something else or whatever. And I was like, okay. And then I looked at it a little longer. It was in the trade window. And I put my Chaos Claw in there. Now, many of you have seen my Chaos Claw in my last video. I traded uh, something real shitty for the Chaos Claw. I can't remember what it was. Because the guy was pissed he made it. He made it in a runic talon that didn't have any plus skills whatsoever. So I just put that thing in the window. And the guy thought about it for a minute. I hit the green check. Both of our... our uh, my, my green check was like green and shit for like 10 seconds straight. And then he accepted the trade. And I was stoked. And then he asked, is this thing made in Superior? I was like, no. He was like, okay, thanks. And he took off. And then I was like, oh, that's what this is about. Yeah, and this is made in a superior item. So the repair costs are expensive as fuck. But you know what? I didn't even give a toad. Because I wear it in the offhand just for the aura. And the cast lower res when she struck. And the plus skills. So all the other attributes on this, she doesn't benefit from, of course, other than the plus strength. But yeah, you wear it for the cleansing aura. And you can just make it in a nice, you know, uh, blade or whatever you find that offers decent skills. And this one gives three to blade shield. It could have been better, but I didn't care. And it was only a plus one skill one. It can, uh, plague can roll either one or two skills. Well, yeah, that's how I got that plague, man. It's toad as fuck. Um, it's been a good time because when you're in Chaos Sanctuary, of course, Cleansing Aura reduces curse duration. Reduces your poison duration. What you need? Those two are really big. You know, the cast actually will cost decrepify on you, and Val will cost decrepify on you, and it slows you down. It's annoying as fuck. We're gonna imbue this thing. Boom! Piece of shit. And I found this Arek from Satan, just last game. Damn, that's a shitty ring. Mage fist. Pleased with that. 30 defense. Hot damn. That's a lot of defense. I'll just keep that. Just like I keep every fucking thing that I don't need to keep. Fuck it. Um, it's been a damn good time, man. Nat set is so toe. Check this out. She just needs five more poison rounds. All her res are maxed. Of course, she doesn't have any B on the 75 cap. But I mean, if you wanted to, you could go that route. You know, you could put like a low rune in Nat's armor. Some folks swear this shit. For a long time. And check this out. She can teleport with the dragon talon thing. And she also has the teleport amulet. I only use that when I have to. You know, it's a little expensive to recharge. But often she can just use her... Uh, as long as you have an enemy to cast it on. You can use your dragon flight. But this assassin is very durable. That's why I like them. Check out her life. It's 1400. Almost 1500. Her life is told. But yeah, uh, check this out. I'll show you the skills real quick. So, just uh, some basic points in this shit. And I actually put two points total into Shadow Master. Like I said, I like it. And she'll survive a hell of a lot more once I get a torch. Then she'll be level 12. Yeah, and she'll survive like a thick ass total. That'll be really nice. And here's her traps. So I've been kind of balancing out whether or not I bump into Charge Bolt Sentry, primarily for the synergy it is to Lightning Sentry, or whether or not I pump up Blade Shield, which I can still put many points into that. I think every like five levels it gets another blade. I believe is how it works. So at level 30, so I'll put one more point into it, and then I'll get my torch, and she'll be blasting out four blades total. Yeah, and that'll be told. Oh, uh, I might strive to get more than that. I don't know. But I'm going to need a lot more GCs for traps, you know. I just have a bunch of lifers and stuff. Some shitty life ones. 
Yeah, but I could fit a lot more trap GCs in here if I wanted to. Okay, so I could work these around a little bit. Yeah, I wouldn't mind topping off my poison res. Oh, yeah, man, this has been a damn good time. She's very durable, like I said. And I'll show you some other stuff in just a minute. So here's what I do. I, I basically just... I mean, there's a lot of... The, the play styles kind of vary with this character, which I like. You know, that's why I like to put one point into Blades of Ice, because it's it's active then, and you're actively attacking shit. Now you can see here, she does a damn good job. With one point of Blades of Ice, man, that's all it needs in its current iteration, I think. Um, especially if you have an ITD weapon. So you don't have to consider um, pumping up Blades of Ice just to get more attack rating. Of course, for bosses you'll need it, because ITD is ineffective toward bosses. But for everything else, it... it beats the shit out of it. So, yeah, just one point in the Blades of Ice, man, and it works just fine. Because, um, check this out. Um, if you do put more into it, I think it's just a bitch, because it's just going to cost more mana every point you put into it, and it's just going to gain a little tiny bit of cold damage. It's just very minuscule. You see that? I don't think that's worth it. What, if you max that shit, you're going to get like a hundred more cold damage or something? I mean, maybe 200 cold damage at max? And they're all highly resistant to cold, it just doesn't fucking matter. You know, I don't understand why folks max that. Unless if you're just some pure uber build, you might want to do this for convenience, but I don't think it's essential. But, yeah, so what you can do is you cast a bunch of light sentry, then you cast a death sentry. You can cast Cloak of Shadows. I'll cast the Cloak of Shadows, watch this. It blinds Day's ass. See? See, Day's ass is blind. Man, now, see, I was thinking about trading a Gull and a Rack for a Torch, but I don't think many people were going to have it. But yeah, now that I have this Sir, that'll be really nice. But I mean, look at how defensive this shit is. That's equivalent to a Storm Shield, man. That physical damage reduced by 30%. It's like wearing a Storm Shield, and then she has... I mean, she has String of Ears, so her... It's 41% DR. Max is 50, of course. I mean, you could top it off with a few damage reduction rings if you wanted to, and get a better String of Ears, of course. So if you get a perfect 15 DR String of Ears, and one 5 DR ring with the uh, slam effect, You'll have your DR cap with Nat set, and you don't even have to wear a shield. Storm Shield will be pretty damn useless. And you can block, of course, with your uh, Claw Block skill, if you have two Claws. And then you can wear you no know, Plague for Cleansing Aura. 47% chance. It's Obviously, it's it could be much greater than that. And you can hit a higher block rate with a shield, obviously, but... In fact, it might be worth pumping a few into weapon blocks. See, that'll be nice to get the torch. Um, I'm not sure if you can max it at 75 with a weapon block, even if you max the skill. Maybe you can. I don't know. I never really looked into it. But yeah, it's been a toad of a time, man. So I'm going to get that torch. Uh, but kind of at a crossroads now because, like I said at the beginning of this video, you can't really run group play with an assassin that has a point in mind barrier. I mean, if I had done it a little bit, Conway and I have ran some areas, but, you know, I mean, I don't, all right, I'd be lying to you if I said I, I wouldn't be kind of entertained if, you know, folk just die because I had that skill, a couple folks just get ripped. I'd be lying to you if that wouldn't make me laugh a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Depending on the circumstance. I don't want that to happen to any of my boys. But I'm just saying, like, like some of the dicks that were in that game be kind of funny if they ripped from that shit. Because, man, they wasn't being nice, man. Like I said, they hurt my fucking feelings, you know? Why do you gotta be a fucking dick? And like I said, I'm down with you guys being dicks if you want. But if you're going to, the least you could do is become a patron. Or just give me a fucking tip. God damn. It can only be a dollar, you know, I don't give a fuck, man. It all adds up. 
But seriously, it's the least thing you can do if you're going to be a dick. Just throw a little tippy tippy in the tippy jar. Right? But, yeah. I mean, like I said, I'd be lying to you if I said it would be somewhat entertaining if it murdered random people. Just having a point in that skill in any given public game. But at the same time, it's kind of a barrier, you know? Like now... I don't, I'm probably not going to be uh, widely accepted in public games to do those map runs. I normally don't do those anyway, but at this point it just sounds kind of fun to try it. Because they were just wiping shit out, man. It was a bunch of them. Oh, damn, a facet. Damn. Hellcast. Four, five, fire. Or five, four, fire. Okay. Pretty nice. I'm not sure what that goes for right now. But yeah, if you guys will like the video, uh, become a patron if you want. And I'll be talking to you guys soon. Peace be with you.